Hello and welcome to a quick video to show a contraption I built that periodically crashes my game to desktop whenever I zone out of the mining dimension. This is the mining dimension added by Aroma of something 1997. And yeah, um, over here is my normal quarry. It's a thousand by a thousand, no, 500 by 500, oops, size quarry. It's kind of slow. Solar panels, normal modded things like that. But over here is the giant crater I've made with this. This is 32 by 32. Well, not by the, this is 32 blocks wide, and it has this world anchor on it. It has a little place for me to sit, so I get dragged along with it. I don't know why, but this doesn't seem to work with me outside of the dimension. That's probably just because of that. So I need to find some way to load it as it moves across the world without having to stop in periodically and change the loaded chunks. Um... But yeah, this is built with mining wells from Buildcraft. Ender chests, because like, warp item ducts weren't fast enough to keep up with the loads spot out by these. Um, Redstone energy flux ducts. These frames have to be on top of everything in order to actually let it move. Because if it's not on top, it won't move at all because these things are considered to be in the way. Um, these things being the mining well and the ender chest. Here's the world anchor with ender pearls. Um, I just added these on each periodically to make it make sure it stayed together. I don't know if it's needed or not. But yeah. So here is the place where it actually starts moving. Here's a timer. These things respond to redstone signals. Currently have it off. Here's a solar panel, two solar panels to power these things, the frame pushers, with that going between them. Um, it has underneath the front two, or the front space, and one behind it, the middle one, empty. This one has to have some one of these frames underneath it. Um, so yeah, this pushes this block forward, and when it goes like that, and the timer ticks, it'll this block, which will be right here at the time, will push the entire thing forward, and this will go back. And because this redstone signal would be on, it'll push this block forward automatically and wait for the next redstone tick from this timer. Now that that's pretty much explained, I'll turn it on. And yeah, it pretty much just goes straight down. I have the timer a little bit longer than needed, but just because in case of world, world lag or something, I don't know, I just don't want it breaking. And it, does that and comes back automatically because of this frame pusher in the back. But yeah, that's that. And if I use my in charm of dislocation, I tend to crash to desktop, which is kind of annoying. But the nice thing is, these things take away source blocks, except for lava. It gets stuck on lava. But it takes away oil, sludge, water, any liquid I've found so far except for lava. Which is semi unfortunate, because it creates some lag and it doesn't actually get the things below the lava. Uh, 
uh, I was just playing in here while I was sitting around while it mined. But yeah, it doesn't get the things into the lava. But here's the hole. <sighs> but yeah, this thing is amazing. And as you can see, it's very laggy. It's not just the recording. Uh, let's look at the FPS up in the top left corner as it goes again. Well, actually, the FPS doesn't seem to be very affected by this much. Okay. Here's the ender chest as it goes and then it suddenly starts to get full. I have one import bus on my ME system filled completely with acceleration cards and is able to keep up with this and the other quarry over there that is running at the same time. Um, I'm powering this with solar panels, other windmills, um, big reactor that isn't actually that big. Oh, hey, look at this. It's wavy. That's weird. That's cool. But kind of weird. Huh. But yeah, I'm powering this with a whole bunch of different power things. I have a mechanism bio generator thing hooked up to two tiny wheat farms, um, this, oh yeah, I'm using fuel that I am gathering from a oil well. It doesn't generate much power, but oh well. Um, but yeah, this is the mining system I made. And hopefully it doesn't crash me to the desktop every time I leave, even though I've had experiences with it doing that recently. Just a few more times of watching it go. Yeah, the chunks don't seem to like this very much. Currently it's spanning across three chunks. This, There are like three blocks over here that aren't in the chunk. So yeah, if we go, these three rows are not in one in the same chunks, and yeah. So that's the extent of that. I could make it go faster, but I really don't need it to, and I really don't want it to break. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick eight-minute video. Wow, that went long. Oh well, I was assuming it would be like maybe two or three minutes, but okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.